Welcome to another video. So I want you to take a look at these two clips side by side and tell me what you see. Obviously you see butterfly, but one gentleman is performing really good butterfly and the other guy is performing a not so good butterfly. So what's the difference between a good versus bad butterfly stroke when it comes to swimming? Well, there's one thing I want you to pay attention to, okay? One thing you notice, okay, that makes the difference between a good stroke and a bad stroke. And what is that thing? Take a look, pay attention. Look at these clips side by side. The person who's doing a really good butterfly stroke is using his entire body. The other guy is just using his arms. So the analogy that I like to use is to imagine that you have a basketball and you have a hoop right above you and you're trying to dunk the ball. When you do the butterfly stroke, your entire body, you fling your entire body forward. You fling your arms, you flex your core, you whip your legs, which we call a dolphin kick, full force together. Not, not separately, but together like a mermaid's tail. You fling your entire body, just like you're going for a slam dunk, you use your entire body, you're going to get a really good butterfly stroke. The guy who's not doing a really good, so good, not so good job, he's just flinging his arms, right? His arms, his core, and his legs are all working separately. They're not working together, as you can see. So that's my tip for today. So before you go, I want you to click the link down below, right? That link is going to take you to a free ebook that's going to give you a, a, a quick warm up and wind through of everything you need to know as a beginner swimmer and it's free okay so at no cost to you download that free ebook that i wrote personally by myself and it's going to help people like you learn how to swim smarter because i'm tired of idiots in the pool that i swim next to side by side every day get it now before it's too late